Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to be making our way to the Halig Tree Canopy. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And really all I did was farmed up a few runes when I sold all the runes, including the boss remembrances that I had in my inventory. I had about 11 levels that I could put into my character. So I figured, well, let's go ahead and make it 12. So I farmed up some runes by helping some people and killing some enemies and uh, made it an even 12. I also went ahead and put on the sentries torch. We're going to need that here in just a moment to be able to see the Black Knife Assassins. We're not going to be killing the Black Knife Assassins, but I do like to see them. That way I don't take too much damage while trying to dodge them. All right, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to come over here. We're going to put some levels in. We're going to put four into Vigor, four into Strength, and then four into decks. And then we're gonna hop on Torrent. We're gonna face the northwest. We're gonna come up this way. Grab ourselves some freezing grease. Golden Rune 13. gonna jump on this roof jump over here jump up over here we're just collecting all these items ahead of time that way we don't have to do it when we go into this ever jail puzzle Right here, we can get the Black Knife armor set. Really cool looking armor set, in my opinion. Come over here. Grab some Hefty Bone. Just keep moving along here. Hop on this rooftop all the way over here. And then we're gonna hop off Torrent. This item can be a little annoying to grab. You gotta get super close. So I just always hop off Torrent and then grab the item. Hop over to this roof, then over here. Hop off Torn again, and then right down here, and get ourselves a rune arc. We're gonna hop onto these balconies, and then we're gonna hop onto this roof here. If you miss it, that's okay. You can just circle around. We're just coming over to the Everjail entrance. We're gonna interact with the imp statue. Now we want to put our torch on ahead of time. Go ahead and drink your flask. We're going to need it. And then we're going to do a quick run through here. We're going to just be lighting the statues. And that's why you want the Wonders Flask of Physic on. You know, out of all of my test runs, I never got grabbed like that from one of the black knives. But there's a first for everything. I 
Just keep running this way. Do not stop. We're going to have another black knife chasing us. We're going to come up to this ladder. Go up the ladder. Now we are done with our torch. We can get rid of it. Unless you fall back down, but if you fall back down, just, just run back up here. Should be alright. Light the next statue. Now we only have two more. And then across the way, we're going to have an Albanoric Maiden. careful for that lady over there what I like to do is come over here hop down hop over to this ladder with the blue torch wait for her to quit shooting at us and then climb up this ladder light our third statue and then the last one is just across the way so what we're going to do is we're going to hop down right here there's going to be two enemies shooting at us so be careful of that Then we can light this last statue, and we have completed the puzzle. Go ahead and light our lantern. Then we're going to come up top these stairs, and we're going to go through a teleporter. It's going to bring us to the Halig Tree Canopy. So right down there is a grace. If you want to grab it, feel free. But right here, if you just inch off, it's a little sketchy here, so take your time. Go ahead and sit at this grace. Want to make sure that we get our wondrous flask of physic back. We're going to light this summoning pool. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to take out these enemies here. I always hate the canopy because I feel like I'm always going to fall off. I'm sure everybody feels that way. Just got to be courageous. Tighten your buttholes and just get ready to kill some shit. hop down right here by this mushroom oh nice we got the envoys longhorn I didn't mean to click out of that so fast I apologize I like to use my bow for the ants because there's quite a few of them So 
switch to a new way out. We're only going to kill a couple of these and then we'll drop down and kill the rest. Maybe. Good lord. Every shot was missing there. Okay, we're not we're not going to do that. That's just becoming too time consuming there. We're going to hop down. Some ants are going to run at us. Charge R2. Take that big boy out. Get the Envoy Crown. Envoy, Envoy. I don't know. Whatever you want to call them. And the two other ants are now patrolling up our way. Good lordy, that was scary. All for a smithing stone eight, right? Now we want to come up this way. Be careful, we're going to have a lot of stuff shooting at us here in just a moment. Just take your time. Kill what you need to kill, or at least feel safe killing. that to get done doing its thing. And then I like to come over here first, just because these guys like to shoot at you while you're trying to get some items. Here, get ourselves a stone sword key because you know we need even more of those don't we don't have enough of them and then we're gonna come back over here where we got this item we're going to hop down right here where we see these mushrooms and then we want to jump off drop down right there We'll be getting that item in just a moment. up here grab ourselves the prattling pate 
my beloved. We're going to heal up because we're about to be making a mad dash and dodging some pretty devastating bubbles. So across the way we can see an enemy. It's going to start shooting a bunch of ballista bubbles at us, I guess. Or bombardment of bubbles. I don't know what to call it other than that. And it hurts really bad. Especially if you get hit with all of them, it's probably going to be your death. and take care of him and then what we're gonna do is drink our flask and we're gonna run up here and then run away it is not worth fighting all these enemies they're just going to be more of an annoyance than anything just keep running Drink a flask while we can. Grab a lost ashes of war. And then we're going to backtrack and right over here. We're going to hop down just right here. We're gonna make sure that we have flame cleanse me. Do a little bit of backtrack in here. going to go down this ladder right over here is going to be a elevator that we're going to send up a little bit later into the video for now let's light this grace we're going to sit at it so we can get our wondrous flask of physic back Then be really careful. We're going to have an enemy charging us. This area is going to give us a ton of runes, by the way. Be careful of Buddy Boy over there. We're going to run, jump. About as well as that can go right here we get the pearl drake talisman plus two we're going to put that on right now i wouldn't worry about those guys Right here, though, we're going to have a guy that's going to try to push us off. 
Just make sure that you don't get pushed off by them. Then we're going to run. We're going to jump. And then just to the left, we have an enemy. And then right over here, we have another one. Take that guy out right there. Get another smithing stone eight. And then we want to put our blood flame on in just a moment. We're gonna hop down first. want to take out these Miranda flowers because if we don't climbing the ladder is going to be extremely difficult Right here, we're going to get a charged R2. Cool, we got a misbegotten short bow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drink a flask. And then just to the left, we have a misbegotten over here. Take him out and then worry about this guy. and get us an ancient dragon smithing stone and then right over here we're gonna have two of those zombie guys that want to push us off grab a somber eight and then we'll come down here Go ahead and light this grace. We're going to sit at it again just to make sure that we have our flask back. Go ahead and activate that summoning pool. And then we want to get a running start. Jump across. Get a smithing stone six. And then just across the way you can see a snail. Go ahead and just shoot it a couple times. They're going to summon in, in those crystalline enemies. So I do advise killing the snails from a distance if you can. Same with these ants. These ones are a little easier to kill. Definitely a lot easier than the last ants. Okay, now that we have them dead, we're going to hop down and then immediately to our right, we're going to have another snail to kill. Way we don't have to deal with the crystalline. Grab a somber nine. Go 
Come over here for some Aeonian butterflies. And then just to the right over here, we have another snail. This is the last one we have to worry about. And that'll kill the crystalline. Get ourselves a golden ruin tin. Then what we want to do is we want to get a running start. Just at the last minute, jump across. And then we want to face the other way. As soon as we cross, face the other way. Get a running start. The last minute, jump across. That one's a little bit more sketchy. If you don't feel comfortable making that jump. The only thing we're getting over here is I think the Viridian? Yes, the Viridian Amber Medallion plus two. So if you're not really worried about it, I wouldn't uh, jump across. Climb up this ladder. Be really careful for all of the zombie guys. I'm going to hop down right here. Immediately turn around. Just to our right, we have an enemy. Don't let him surprise you. And then over here, we have a bigger misbegotten. We can drink a flask because right here we have a crimson scarab. Be able to get our flask back. Kill this enemy here. And then we got one right here. And then we have a mage. Off in the distance there. There's going to be two of these mages over here. I think they're battle mages is what they're called. I'm not too sure. If I'm being honest. But I like to take one on at a time. I don't like to be fighting two at the same time. Because they are pretty beefy. You can see the second one rolling up on us. Oh no! I should have seen that coming. Come down here for a smithing seven, and then if we come over here, we can get ourselves a hero's rune four. Go ahead and grab this item. And then right over here is the elevator I was talking about earlier that we were going to be sending up. So that'll lead us back to the main grace from the canopy. If you need to rest at it, feel free to go up there, rest at it. Right here, we're going to activate this summoning pool. And then we are going to buff our weapon. Drink our flask. And then... Summon in our Mimic tier. We're going to be fighting the real Loretta this time. The last time we fought her, she was just an illusion. I was over by the Carrion Manor. 
or inside the carrion manor, I apologize. Not over by it, but actually inside of it that we fought her. It's really not that hard. Pretty much the same fight as last time. Just a little beefier. So for killing Loretta, we get Loretta's Mastery, and we also get Loretta's War Sickle. Both are very meh spell and weapon. Go ahead and light the Lost Grace. And then we're going to come down here. We are almost done. Not with this area. We just started with this area, but I mean with the video. Here we're going to get another ancient dragon smithing stone. Come over here, take the elevator down. And then over here, we're going to have a clean rot knight guarding the prayer room. Do not let them grab you with that spear. If they do, they are going to cause a lot of damage and cause scarlet rot. Let's light this grace. Then we're gonna activate the summoning pool. And then we're gonna talk to Millicent. We haven't seen her in quite a while. Again we meet. I can only surmise our purposes are aligned. In which case, allow me to explain myself. I am of Melania's blood, but in what capacity I know not. I could be sister, daughter, or an offshoot. Whatever the case, though, I am certain of a kinship between us. There is something I must return to Melania. The will that was once her own. The dignity. The sense of self. That allowed her to resist the call of the Scarlet Rot. The pride she abandoned to meet Radon's measure. Okay, so now that we're done talking to Millicent, right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.